Hello, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome to episode two in my building of the Sausage Fingers Sausage Cave thing. Right, last time I built my bench. Now, this is Sausage Fingers. I, I said to Mrs. Sausage Fingers, can I buy myself a lathe? She said, what is a lathe? I said, it's a spinny roundy turny thing which goes really fast. She said, can it set the house on fire? I said, only a little bit, but the probability is low. She said, okay, get one. So, I have never used a lathe before. This is a wood lathe starter kit. I'm gonna unbox it. Don't know what I'm doing. Don't even know what's in the box. I've opened the flap, which I shall show you in a minute as I take it out of the box. Yes, I, I really don't know what I'm doing, but it looks like we can have a lot of fun with this. Let's do it. Right, what we got first? Original instructions. Hmm. Spinny roundy thing. Nutty bolty stuff and an Allen keys. Box of things. Another box of things. Cardboard. Whoa. A heavy metal spinny thing with a metally standy uppy thing. Pluggy thing, cardboardy thing. Mm. Metally framey thing. Mm. Cardboard, cardboard. Ugh. Heavy metally red thing with sharp bits and attorney only authorizer. Okay, what's in the box of things? Hmm. Ooh. Sharpness. Hmm. Look. Sharpie cutonizer. I presume this is a Sharpie cutonizer as well. It's a different shape, Sharpie cutonizer. Another different sharp cutting noiser. That's actually quite blunt. That doesn't feel very sharp, actually. I might have to give that a little sharpenizing. One more box of things. A faceplate for when I want to make sausage bowls and the likes. Spannery thing, a handily thing. Hmm, a brackety thing. This is the leany up and against the noiser, which goes like here to leany up the things. And another handalizing locky unlocky thing. Hmm. So, there we have it. There's everything that was in the box of stuff and things. Now all I've got to do is put it together. I am foreseeing a problem of my bench not being long enough here, maybe? Hmm, not sure yet. Now upon closer inspection of both my bench and my lathe, if I was to set out the lathe at it, as it is meant to be set out, look, I have lots of bench, lots of bench, no bench. So before I can even set this up, I've got to extend my bench. That is unfortunate, damn it. I'm gonna build it first and then worry about that afterwards. I have a piece of wood there that I think will be good for extendonizing this. Hmm, shouldn't be too hard. What could possibly go wrong? So, phase one of my buildonizing is to do this. Here, look, which you can see here. I've got to put the, the nutty bolty things through the nutty bolty holes, here, 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 and here, here, and here, and screw it all together. Hmm, 
Here are my nutty bolty things. Here. I'm going to put them in the little holes, which are under here. Four of them. Let's do this. There. Tighter than a tight thing. Phase two. Look, I've got the things here. So now I'm going to put this under here like this. I presume that this goes on here like this. The picture is as clear as mud. So I'm going to put this through here like this. And I don't know whether that handle goes up or down, but I shall change it if I need to. I'm going to screw this in here. That looks about right. Does it not? Yes. Yes, it does. Now, I think I may not be in as much trouble lengthwise as I think I am here. Now, I thought this was a mini lathe. I thought this would lathe tiny stuff. But look at it. It is like, it's well over a metre long. I can lathe huge things. This is the capacity of this lathe. This was a really, really cheap lathe. It actually says on the side of the box. In fact, it actually says here. Wow. This thing is a lot better than I thought it would be, as long as it works. I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to set that up on this side. That goes through there. That. That goes in there. Look, that is set up. Ooh, spinny. It's really nicely oiled as well. Messy. Right, slides along fine there. So I'm moving it back. Look how much space I've got already. Even that, that is more than I am going to use initially when I'm first lathalizing. I'm going to put the handily thing on. There. Now I did get, yeah, here we go, got some little Allen keys. I don't know what you call them, hex keys. Let's do that up a little bit. Give it a little tighten. And that is in some, that is in. Oh, it's really good. And now we slap this little thing in here. I don't actually know what way that goes round. Right, that is all the instructions I have got. But there she is. She is built. That was easy. I am going to mount it to the desk. I am not going to use it past there. I could even take that extension off if I wanted to. I think I might actually do that. I'm going to leave it on for now. If it causes me any vibration, I'm going to take that off. Yes. Hmm. There is one more thing I need to do though. It says you can have a look inside here and that is how you adjust the speed. I haven't even plugged this thing in yet, but we'll give it a go. Right, so I've unscrewed the butt flap. Look, there's even a viewing window through the butt flap. And apparently this is how you change speed. Hmm, so we have to move the belts ourselves. I don't know how problematic that is going to be. Like I said, I've never lathed. Hmm, what are we on then? We are on the second one in there, and the second one in there. So in theory, according to this here, we should be on 1750 sausages per minute. I think I will keep that as, as the default speed as I am learning. I don't know if that's too fast or too slow. I do not know. Hmm. The Lumberjack Lathe. SWL 350. Shall I turn it on? No, I'm going to fix it to my desk first, then I'll turn it on. So, folks of the sausage community, this is the Lumberjack SWL 350 lathe. I have taken the extension off. I think this is all I'm going to need. 
To give you an example, that is a foot long. 30 centimetres, 300 mil, 12 inches, 470 sausages. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to need any bigger work area than that. Initially, I am very impressed. However, let us turn on the Lumberjack SWL350. Let's see what the noise is like. Oh. I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised. That's quite quiet. Obviously, we're going to get a bit more noise when we start hacking away at chunks of wood. But initially, seems stable. No vibration. Hmm. There you have it, people. Lumberjack SWL350. In the next video or next couple of videos, I will be doing some choppy uppy stuff and lathy things. I'm not going to in this episode because I'm waiting for my PPE to come. I want a full face shield. I've got goggles, but I don't trust myself. I am too much of a noob. I'm not taking any chances. Yeah. Safety first and all that. As far as a hobbyist lathe goes, I don't know whether this is good or bad, but initially I am really, really impressed. I've got to admit. Hmm. We'll see how it, how it holds up when I start hacking away at bits of wood, I suppose. Yeah. If you want one of these, I'll put a link in the description. That will take you straight to Amazon where I got it. I'm quite happy with it. Anybody who does know anything about lathes, let me know if I've done all this right, what I've done wrong. Um, top tips. I need loads of top tips for when I start hacking into my first piece of wood as well. Yes, I will sharpen my tools. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, peoples. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. Massive thank you to all my patrons who enable me to do this kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time where I'll chop loads of things up and make things round. Yeah. Laters.